Hey everyone, Mike Simon from PC World, and I am here in New York City for the Google Made by Google launch event, which we saw a whole bunch of products. Right now I got the Google Pixel Slate, which is their new non-Android, not quite Chrome OS tablet. So let's take a look at the hardware first. We got um, a 10-inch tablet. It's really thin. It comes in this cool kind of, they, they call it midnight blue. It's, it's a matte back, but it's not really black, but it has a cool kind of shimmery feel to it in the light. It's, it's, it's pretty light, you know, it has some weight. It's still a 10-inch tablet, but it's pretty light. It's easy to hold, has nice rounded corners, and, um, you know, good uniform bezels, front-firing speakers. It's a nice, solid piece of hardware. A little reminiscent of the Pixel C, which came out about three years ago, and that was Google's Android tablet. That was one of the first Pixel products. And it was, that was pure Android. It was, it was um, at the time it ran Android Nougat, and it's been updated since, but that was, you know, Android apps and a full kind of Android tablet, which we know isn't so great. Google abandoned that for this, and this is a Chrome OS tablet, but it kind of has an Android feel to it, so let's take a look. We've got the power button at the top, which also doubles as a fingerprint sensor. Click it to turn it on, and the first thing you'll notice here is is the UI is a little bit different than the Pixelbook or any other Chrome OS device. And the focus here really is on apps. Usually you don't see that in Chrome OS. Usually it's Chrome. We're talking about the browser. We're talking about extensions, things like that. We're taking right to apps here. And Google wants to kind of marry that experience, Chrome and Android. And that's what we got here with the Pixel. If we take a look at the, the Pixelbook, you know, for one, the form factor is different. We have more uniform bezels, and you know the, the screen's about the same size, but it's, but it's, a, it's a much thinner, because it doesn't have a keyboard. So you'll notice we have no keyboard here, like the, Pixel, like the Pixel Book of Olds that had one attached. It comes with <clears throat> nothing. You have to buy a pen, you have to buy a keyboard, and if you're buying the $600 Pixel Slate, which is what it starts at, it's gonna cost you 50% more to get those things. The keyboard's 200 bucks, the pen, like last year, is also another 100. So we're talking about now what was a $600 device is now a $900 device. But the keyboard's pretty cool. It has a backlit sensor, so it's not just a simple static keyboard. It has a trackpad built in. So we're really getting that, that Pixelbook experience inside a very adjustable, very portable little case slash keyboard that you could take off, you know, use it as a tablet. You don't have to wrap it around the back and get that real kind of thick, bulky experience like we had last year. So that's the Pixel Slate. Google says it'll be available later this year. They haven't given a specific date of release, but it starts at 600 bucks, probably goes up to there. My guess is around 1,200 for different, um, you know, more RAM, better processor. And um, $100 for the pen, $200 for the keyboard. Looks like a pretty cool device, pretty high end when it comes to Chromebooks, but, you know, it kind of uh, walks that line between super portable and desktop.